Are you experiencing lower back pain when you try to swim breaststroke? Well, this video, I will go through exactly why that's happening and how to correct it. Hey swimmers, welcome back to the Swim Vice channel. I'm Coach Mandy and today's video is about breaststroke, but specifically on whether or not you are arching your back too much or you're engaging your core properly. Now, before I get into detail, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner as I post videos weekly to help with your swim practice. Now, what's important about breaststroke is core control, but in order to be able to do this properly, your form has to be on point. So in this video breakdown, I'm gonna explain exactly why this is happening and how to correct it. All right, so in this video breakdown, first I'm gonna demonstrate a common mistake with breaststroke, which is putting too much shift in your posture or extending your back too far. And notice what happens to my head position that causes this shift to happen. I'm gonna follow that with a second very common habit with breaststroke, which is causing that lower back arch. And that is from delaying the pull, which introduces too much movement at that stage of the stroke. And after those two examples, I'm gonna follow that with correcting this position so you can see exactly what happens when my posture is changed and I'm actually moving more forward versus sending the energy too high up. If you're interested in learning more about breaststroke, check out the additional videos linked at the top right hand corner. And if you're looking to stay connected for more additional practice tips, join our newsletter at swimvice.com. All right, so in this first demonstration, I'm showing what happens when the head position is too high and you're actually lifting too far up, which also causes your lower back to arch. So right at this freeze frame, you can see I'm looking forward, but you see my elbows drop to the side and there's a shift in body position or posture that is really retracting back. So if you think of a seated row, my shoulder blades are retracted back, which is putting too much energy in the opposite direction. So you can see how much resistance this will carry and also it will throw off the complete timing of breaststroke. All right, so with the pull is what I have here is freeze framed at this moment. You can see that my hands are getting pretty close to my stomach, which is a little too far. And because of that, or adding too much movement, creates a delay in the timing of the pull. You wanna think of the pull as a very quick movement. You don't wanna to take too much time because it then disrupts the entire flow of your stroke, which then introduces too much arch in your lower back, creating that resistance. As you see in this freeze frame right here, my lower back is arched. There's too much pressure on my lower back versus shooting forward. You could also see at this moment here, I'm looking forward, which also introduces that delay in adding too much time in the pull. Right here, as you see in this freeze frame, my elbows have dropped too far to the side, which also creates more resistance. All right, so as you can see in this corrected position where I have it freeze framed, you see a complete shift in posture. It's lower, it's more forward, and you can see that my elbows have not dropped far to the side. And I'm creating that momentum forward without arching my lower back. So that's the key difference with breaststroke where you won't deal with any lower back pain is to keep focusing your energy forward.
And lastly, from this view, as you see in this freeze frame, my shoulder blades are actually rounded more forward. I'm not retracting back as you saw in the earlier video. And this is gonna help send your energy forward and eliminate any lower back pain or lower back strain by really sending your energy too far back or too far up. So by eliminating that extra movement, you can see right here that my arms remain forward and without dropping them too far to the side. All right, Summers, that's it for today's video. But if you have any questions about breaststroke, drop a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. All right, Summers, enjoy your practice and I will see you all next week.